Yeah. Let's face it, 30 years after a console's initial release, there aren't going to be that many developers for it. Luckily for us, the NES was such a prolific device that it still has a devoted development community for it today. And one of those fantastic devs is Kevin Hanley of Kahan Games. Kevin has been releasing games for the NES since 2009 with his debut title, Ultimate Frogger Champion. Believe it or not, Frogger is one arcade game that simply never made its way to the NES, so the initial release was somewhat of a landmark. Kahan also developed one of Retro USB's yearly 8-bit Xmas games, an NES port of Leisure Suit Larry, and last year he released a really fun and critically acclaimed puzzle game titled The Incident. Recently, however, Kevin put together the Kahan Games 4-in-1 Retro Game Pack. Bringing together three of his earlier developed titles, as well as a brand new one, this is definitely worth checking out. The game comes packed in an NES standard box, with a full color manual, a cardboard cartridge sleeve, as well as the game itself. It's extremely high quality, and really feels like a new NES game. Once you pop this cartridge in, you will find the four games right at your fingertips. Starting strong, we have Kahan's first release, Ultimate Frogger Champion. It's the same great Frogger gameplay we have all come to know and love, but on the NES. No concessions have been made, and it even features a save function to make sure you don't lose those precious high scores. The second game is another one of Infamy, E.T. on Atari, except this time on NES. The game, of course, is most well known for how bad it is, and while it definitely doesn't have the same classic gameplay of something like Pac-Man or Frogger, its history and development make it so culturally important and iconic. This version, however, has an option on the title screen that explains how to play the game, something very lacking in the original. How neat is that? The third game in this package is another Atari remake, the oddity known as Sneak and Peek. In this game you have one simple concept, explore the house and try to find player 2. They could be hidden anywhere in the house, including the furniture, walls, and even the tree outside. The game is definitely most fun if you play it with a friend instead of the CPU. There isn't much more to explain the game than that, but it still can provide quite a bit of fun to be had. And finally, there is Fishing Challenge. This game in particular I find most interesting as it accurately depicts the excitement of fishing in real life. You can sit by the water, watch the clouds roll by, and slowly catch some fish. As you catch them, the seasons will go by, and if you fish for long enough, an entire year can go by. Wait long enough, and you can even find some rare fish. However, the real excitement comes from when you attempt to fill out and complete your fishing catalog. So there you have it, the Kahan Games 4-in-1 Retro Game Pack. One of the more fun newly released NES games for sure. It lets us relive some important games to video game history and even brings back some classics. It may be a while until we hear about Kahan's next title, but let's be thankful that people like him are still taking their time to keep the NES alive and kicking today.